Hey you guys, so I'm back again with another message from the Lord. On um, this particular message, it's pretty much ties into the previous message where I talked about um, the dream that God had gave me when it came to um, the enemy trying to um, steal God's children anointing, steal God's children gifts through like sexual sin and stuff like that, different type of rituals, um, transfer rituals. Um, so if you haven't watched the previous video, go back and watch the previous video. But when um, this, when I got up this morning, God, um, I saw a post, um, pretty much what my sister, a sister in Christ, was saying about the warfare and stuff like that, and it triggered me um, to go into prayer because she was saying the same thing: how the devil is after God's children, anointing their gifts and stuff like that. And God had already showed me this the night before. Um, in the spiritual realm what the devil was trying to do all right and so while i was praying this morning um god clearly said plot twist all right and god had told me to go to the book of esther last night before i went to bed he would not release me to get sleepy or go to sleep until i read um to a section or the book of Esther, like read the background and the history and stuff about Esther, Mordecai, Haman. And so we all know about the story of um, Esther and then what Mordecai and Haman, how Mordecai tried to plot, um, how Haman, I'm sorry, tried to plot Mordecai's death, right? So Haman despised and hated the Jews so much, he was trying to kill the Jews. And Haman wanted Mordecai to be uh, pretty much um killed because um Mordecai would not bow down to him right Mordecai would not bow down to him and um it pissed <laughs> made um it made Haman very very angry because Mordecai was not going to bow down to him because Mordecai said if he basically did he was acknowledging him as a god and he wasn't a god or his god that he served right and so when God told me plot twist and this morning i was driving in the car and i was meditating god was just saying the same um way the enemy is trying to plot against his children the same thing that they're trying to keep the enemy is trying to do they're going to end up being it's going to end up backfiring on them okay you got to understand the same plot that Haman did against mordecai that was the same way he was killed all right so God is saying plot twist. That was a plot twist. Haman thought he was going to have Mordecai killed. But Haman ended up being killed. On the way he was plotting for Mordecai to be killed. So God is saying plot twist in this hour. Y'all that's why it's very imperative during this time. Thank you Holy Spirit. Whenever I had opened. Because I had bought a new Bible. Right. Um, And this is how I know it was God. That he wanted me to read the book of Esther. Because he's been talk to, downloading in my spirit about Esther or whatever. Um, but last night when I opened the Bible, cause I had bought a new Bible, I had bought a new Bible to travel with cause the, the life application Bible that I have, um, pretty much is big and bulky. So I bought another one that's like kind of easier for me to travel with that way I can still study. I can get in my word and this, that, that, that. Okay. Okay. And whenever I opened it, it turned to page 777. Well, 777 in the strong concordance means fasting. And 777 was on the chapter of Esther in that in my new Bible. So I was like, okay, God. So that's when I, that night, God was like, you need to read it. Like I left it open to that page and God was like, you need to read it. So God is saying plot twist. And then y'all, and it's very, very important y'all during this time. Cause like I said, it was on page 777 to fast, to pray. Cause when we fast and we pray, God give us an advantage on, uh, against the enemy. He will show us the plots and the schemes in the spirit against what the, or what the enemy is trying to do. He will show us ahead of time. So we know how to pray, war, prepare for what the devil is trying to do. Remember Esther had called her people, which was the Jews to go on a fast all right to go on a fast before she went to the king so god can move on their behalf and he did so that's why it's important for us during this time y'all we have to stay on post 
We have to stay on the wall because the devil is busy. He is out to steal and snatch some God's children, God anointing. I had mentioned before in a previous video, God has sent out new anointings to his children. He sent out new strength. He sent out new gifts to his children. Every time we go through a battle or every time we go through warfare, you guys, we are elevated in the spirit. All right. So we are elevated. It's like, we go up in a higher ranking in the spirit. And a lot of people don't know that. That's why in the Bible, God says to count it all joy. Okay. And he even tells us to laugh at the enemy, to laugh at the devil. Because you, the devil is only preparing you and setting you up to be blessed to a higher standard. The devil is only preparing you to be blessed, um, to be elevated. All these attacks is what he is doing is basically strengthening you and pushing you into new gifts, pushing you to new levels. All right. Granted, new levels, new devils, yes, um, in some cases. However, only thing he's doing is just pushing you to your next. Just pushing you to a place where God has already called you to be at. That's what the devil is doing. But we have to realize, you guys, that the battle is already won and God is doing a plot twist. That's why we need to stay fasting. We need to stay praying. Um, we need to stay seeking God and staying at his feet. Because the devil is extremely busy during this hour, all right? Because a lot of the stuff that he tried to do last month <laughs> um, didn't work. And then whenever God sent out the fresh wind, the fresh anointing, the fresh um, strength and stuff like that, new gifts, new strength, new anointing, oil to his children, that really pissed the devil off. That really made the devil angry. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. So, yes, of course, he's going to try to do the rituals and things of that nature um, to get God's children caught up. But God is saying to stay on the wall and there is going to be a plot twist. All right? Plot twist. Again, Haman tried to get Mordecai killed. But the same way he tried to get Mordecai killed, he ended up being killed himself. The same way he was plotting for Mordecai to get killed, Haman was killed the exact same way. All right? So, plot twist. Y'all, just wanted to come and share that because God dropped this in my spirit. Y'all stay encouraged. Stay fast up. Stay prayed up. Um, stay at God's feet so he can show you and warn you about the things that the enemy is trying to do in this hour. Um, how he's trying to cause, cause God's children to trip and fall during this hour. God will warn you, all right? He will He will warn you before these things happen. So it's imperative that we stay fasting, we stay praying, and we stay seeking God's face, and we stay in God's word too as well. Stay in God's word, all right? So I love you. Um, I will be praying for you all. But just know, God, y'all, God clearly said in the spirit this morning during my prayer time, plot twist, all right? So get ready to see whatever your enemies was planning for you to go through. They about to go through it themselves. All right. So I love you guys and I will chat with you all later.